Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast with Biggin. I hope y'all are having a wonderful morning. Ready to rock and roll all day. Got a video that uh, several of y'all sent to me this morning. And I think y'all will enjoy. Let me get a little thank here. Uh, Michael, uh, who else sent some stuff in? CC, Jenny, uh, Miss Peeps, uh, Miss Peeps, Susan, Pat. Thanks, Pat. <clears throat> Alana, Carla. Uh, Maria, Donna, Jacqueline, uh, Eric, Jenny, Carla, uh, Scarlett, Scarlett Dog. Uh, who else we got here? Layla, Heather. Thank y'all so much. Y'all really help. This is great stuff. Anyway, we got a bit of a domestic, as you know. As uh, the video says, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> can't argue with that. Pulled like three different knives on me. No, uh, I like bit him again. My blood is up in your room. You gotta pay for this. Shortly after midnight on July 22nd, 2019, an officer noticed a vehicle parked near a major intersection with its doors wide open and what appeared to be a couple shouting at each other. First, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's yeah, video, yeah. Aura. Yeah. And more without- Myself, no, he put me in the choke no, and then asked the me to transport him back to his vehicle. No, so I was trying I to transport not. him back to his vehicle. So this guy's boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, yeah, wife. Yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. You had a knife on you. you to protect somewhere. myself? No, because no, I had to drive you back to the vehicle? You, you pulled like three different knives on me. No, I had, had one knife right? on me because no, I was afraid. You, there's blood, my blood is up in your room. No, there's not. Yes, there is. No, there's not. I was just trying to drive him back because we were in a little bit of a tussle. And I just wanted to get him she back because, you know, I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to have... I have video recordings of her attacking me. Okay. You, you fucked up! This is the last time you do this to me! And I also have a bruise on me as well, okay. and he also hit me in the side of the head. Okay. So, no, hey, like, I'll, I, I'll give a I had guys. the knife on my person because okay. I wanted to protect myself because he was becoming no. violent with no, me, no, and he actually right, has hey, listen, a history I'm gonna, I'm gonna of violence. Both sides. Okay. He actually has a history of okay. violence well, we'll and take all that a record of that. But... So he'll get with you when it's your turn. You will have your turn. Okay, well, how about you quit talking to him? And here's the rest of your device that was already previously broken that landed on the ground. So there you go. There's that. So he had me in the chokehold okay. and I bit him okay. because Hang I on. was fearful yeah, of my life. Okay. Yeah. Let me not tell him. All right, hang, hang on. Both of you guys stop talking to each other. Somebody else is coming when they get here. We're going to separate you guys and we'll, we'll talk and figure out what happened. I did nothing at all. I'm not going to happen to let it Stop with the comments. When they find out what your roommates do. That has nothing to do with it. What are, how did you guys end up here? Let's start from the beginning and do so now. We, we had a good night. We were at Dave and Buster's uh -huh. just having a good night. Uh -huh. And like, we come back home to her place. And, and okay. so like I look at her phone uh -huh. and stuff. And then she just starts coming at me. And I'm like, and then she's like coming at me and then like attacking the house. me. And she like okay. bit me like, she like, she, she, like, she, she like bit me like a couple times there. Um, that she bit me there for sure. Um, she, she's just like, these are all like marks also from the past. Hey, what about your neck and stuff? Like she's just been like grabbing me and like, like choking me and stuff. And I've been like, dude, I just literally like, if I wanted to hurt her, she would have been down already. All right. So you, you have her phone, you're going through her phone questioning. Yeah, I was questioning like, what are you? Messages and stuff, okay? And she just gets all hostile. She came at you and then... And then she was like, I'm calling the cops on you when she had a knife in her hand, like, at me. And I was like, I was like you're only going to call the cops yourself. So, like, I... So you said she had a knife. How did she have it? Where did she have it? Why she, she, she grabbed it? it. She grabbed it from the kitchen. Okay. I'm trying to talk to her. Like, this is terrifying for a guy. You know, the woman... Let's say he's right. Let's, we have no idea. Let's say he's right. <clears throat> She's coming at him. And how can he protect himself? You know, if it was another guy, no, yeah, that's simple. And the, with a woman, it's not as easy. It, you can hurt them. You can hurt them bad. You don't want to do that. Like, yeah, I, I'm a very peaceful soul. Right. Like, I, I don't do right. anything, like, bad or anything. I'm, I'm just trying to talk to her, and she just grabs the knife, and she's, like, in the dark, so I can't see her. And so I flash my phone, and she's just waiting around the corner for me, like, she's about to, like, stab me, and she's threatening me, like, I'm going to fucking kill you, all 
and stuff, and I'm like, I haven't done anything to her. Like, I was like, yes, I kind of, like, I had restrained her earlier, but I didn't, like, choke her. And, like, I tried to take the knife away from her. All right. And, like, if you go back, and there's two knives still in her room, just okay. laying there, because she came at me with two of them at a time. I haven't touched them. All right. I haven't done anything with them. Right. So them. what, after that transpires, what, now what? I, like, she just kept turning on the lights, or turning off the lights mm -hmm. and had me cornered, in, like, by her door, and, like, kept saying, like, are you ready to fuck? Die, are you ready to fucking die? Like, delete those videos, delete the videos you have in your phone from like her coming at me. You yeah, have those on you? I, I mean, I, 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 I would so. show you, but like, it's. it's uh, so it's kind of frozen. It's, it's frozen fun. She, she did this so, like, you guys. Right. So, she, so she smashed your phone? Yeah, she smashed my phone, and then she hid the knife somewhere over there. She has a third knife on her. Like it was, it was some. It's a big one too. It's somewhere in the bushes. Like when she, when I told her the cops are coming, she literally ran okay, over so there. And she keeps saying, "Are you ready to die?" Right. You're dying. She kind of like poked me a couple times with the knife, like on my shoulder, and I'm just like, I'm like, stop. Like so, I called her best friend, and like I Facetimed her best friend, and uh, and she was like, "You're not Caitlin." I was like. I was like, no, I'm like, I need your help. So she turns off the light again, comes at me, takes the phone away from me because she had a knife in her hand, so I didn't know what to do. Right. And then she just, like, hangs up the phone really fast. And like, I asked her, I was like, can you just take me to my car? Like, How'd you guys end up calming down enough to get in the vehicle to end up here? She said she'll take me, and I said, that's fine. And, like, I, I was like, cool. But then, like, when I got in the vehicle, she had another knife with her. Okay. And I was like, why do you have another knife? And she's just like, like, just, like, threatening me and stuff and, like, saying, like, like oh, you want to call the cops on me? And she's like... I'll take us both down right now. End up here. Well, we end up uh, here because because I'm on the phone with my parents and like my parents are like uh, telling me to get out of like just jump out of the car. I'm like I don't want to jump out of the car. I'm like I'm not I'm not gonna fuck myself up. Right. Like, at one point in time when when I was trying to like, just like just hold her from like using the knife, she just literally like, just, like took a chunk out of me. So we were at Dave and Buster's, we were having a great time, and then we decided to leave his vehicle there and then drive my vehicle to my residence. And when we were at my residence, he went out last night till about 8 a.m., and I was very upset, so he counteracted that. So we just jumped to, from, we were at Dave and Buster's tonight, we got to my residence. Oh, but last night he was out till 8 a.m. Kind of strange. A suspiciousness with taking my device, restricting the phone, taking the phone, taking the phone, hiding it, playing like monkey in the middle type of stuff. And like I wasn't having it. And then he had me like with like both like hands like this and like grabbed by the wrist, like right here and right here. And like um he like had himself like in between me like that and I felt fearful. And as I mentioned to him when I was 14 years old, I was like sexually abused. So that triggered me right. and that made me feel fearful, not because he was going to like harm me in that right. way, but it made me feel fearful and then told me like, I have to restrain you. I have to restrain you. So I bit him here and then I bit him here and he already had a wound like right here. So I've, I like bit him again and I went and I ran and I grabbed a knife, a smaller knife, not the knife that you have right, in your yeah, possession, one, yeah. a much smaller knife. Oh, and he was like, Oh, I have you on video. I have you on video and blah, blah, blah. And so he called his parents and he was like telling his parents in Spanish, I understand Spanish because I'm college educated. So basically I heard what he said and he was telling them fables because he was trying to cover up the fact that he had had me in the chokehold. So where would you guys go from the altercation to now in a vehicle and so, the knife you have now and where we're at? So he has vid videos of what happened. And his phone is broken now. So basically, I grabbed a much larger knife I see that. when, yeah, I did grab a larger knife. Right. I was very fearful, but okay. he, he called his parents Those and the key words. He, um, his dad was like, well, how are you going to get home, son? Like, how are you going to get home? And so I was like, I will take him. Like, I will just take him back. Like, it, there is no problems. Like, we will not have any issues. Right. But I grabbed the knife to protect myself because okay. he had already put the, um, he had already put me in the chokehold, so okay. I was already feeling fearful. Right. So I had that on me. Not that I intended on holding him hostage. I intended on going on 95 and taking him so back to the vehicle. How did you guys vehicle. end up here, and then how the knife ended up hidden behind a bush? And so for what reasons? I told him, I said, look, like I'll put the knife away. I was like, I will take you back. Like I just want to take you back to your vehicle safely because we had right. like little disgruntled argument so I tried to grab the phone from him and then when that happened he screamed as he was like 
you know, over exaggerating just to like put emphasis on the phone to his parents. And then he slugged me twice in the head. And he even put his, you just put your hand like on the side of my head to feel the lump. And you can feel the lump right here. But I have a lump on the side of my head from where he hit me twice. He couldn't even attend high school. They had to completely like remove him from that. So where'd you say? So we just went from what happened tonight to, oh, they removed him from high school. He grabbed you out in your neck. Okay, see. so. It, see your neck real quick, so. Okay, and then you said your hands, he was holding you down by your wrist or something like that. Alright. Turn him over for me. Alright. And get? then the side of my head, right here. Like you can feel the knot, like, it's right here. Okay. All right. Well, here's the deal. All right. Based on the stories, they are somewhat similar. Okay. But as of right now, okay, you are going to be placed under arrest for domestic violence. Okay. Obviously, his injuries are, are somewhat consistent with the stories. However, um, they're also mm -hmm. not. All right. Well, what so, about my injury? Okay. On the we're going to my head. head. We're going to document all that. We'll do all that. I need water because I'm extremely okay. parched. Okay. Well, we'll get that for you in a little bit. Is she able to get two people to come drive or no? Can you please grab some water, please? Like, I am parched and I'm okay. gonna be like claustrophobic, please. Okay. Here's some clear video. All of these. You, I'll yeah. upload all of these. You saw the main one where yeah. the one she's actively grabbing Active his arm. Grabbing his arms, coming uh, out. This the... is the one where yeah, mm -hmm. it's, um, she actually raised her hair. Oh, wow. Nice video. Okay. I'm really kind of confused just because he has surveillance doesn't mean that he didn't put his hands on me to provoke me to put me in a situation like that. Okay. Well, you were placed under arrest before we even recovered the video based on probable cause. The video was actually recovered after. Okay. So, because, I, do, because you can, I have uh, a lump on the side of my head? That no, ma'am. During our investigation, we developed probable cause for your arrest for those charges, okay? You'll get water when you get to the jail. As soon as we get everything squared away, we'll get you on the road, all right? Well, he's a little illiterate, so... Okay, well, that's... It might take a little while for him well, to get things on pen and paper. Okay, well, then we'll wait a little while for him to get down, all right? Oh. He's illiterate? Okay, well, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's your opinion. All right, you raise your right hand for me. All right, you swear to affirm everything in the statement is true to the best of your knowledge. Okay. All right, why don't you just sign here? I would suggest that uh, this be the end. All right, have any contact yeah, and information. It might be time to... Just, Might be time to move on to something else, all right? You're gonna pay for that! If you want to start making threats, we'll just add another charge onto it for you, all right? So... Oh. What do we got? Ag assault with deadly weapon, DV battery, and tampering with witness. Nice. It's a Lord's Day. They supposed to be sleep. <laughs> I know, right? Awesome. What an awful human being. Caitlin was not allowed to bring any of her knives into jail with her that night. Don't miss out on Caitlin's own YouTube channel where she can help guide you through calming breathing exercises to get you through the stressful situations in your life. Knives not included. She was charged with felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, battery, and felony tampering with a victim. She was immediately ordered to have no contact with the victim. She quickly hired an attorney and pled not guilty to the charges. Two days later, she posted bond in the amount of $8,000. She later ended up pleading no contest to all three charges and signed into a pre-trial intervention contract, which stipulated that prosecution would be deferred for 36 months, so long as she abides by the conditions, including a mental health evaluation, random drug testing, 50 hours of community service, and no contact with her victim, her own boyfriend. She was allowed to be released from the contract after 18 months with full compliance to the conditions. Do you think Caitlin was the real victim in all of this or is she no. a truly dangerous person who shouldn't have been let off so easily? Be sure to leave your opinion in the She is a problem. We have lists. We should need to have lists for people like this. That you could look up and go, oh, okay, let me check her out. Oh, my God. Look what she did. Uh, I'm not dating her. God.
you, you hear the crazy hot scale, just funny stuff on the internet. Wow, she's at the top of the list. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Unreal. Well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Look forward to talking to y'all again real soon.